Hi, this is Laura Ciceri, founder of Supply Chain Insights, and today I'd like to talk to you about a topic that is of great interest to me called Big Data Supply Chains. Now you might say, why big data and why do I care about big data supply chains? And let's start with a definition and then let me tell you why you should care. Big data supply chains are supply chains that are fueled by large sets of data. 80% of the world's data has happened in the last two years, and it's no longer just transactional data that the systems that of tradition of the last 30 years were built to handle. In fact, today we have structured and we have unstructured data. Structured data, things like a transaction when you buy something, and unstructured data like user comments on warranty systems or user comments on the web about how products are used. This combination of structured and unstructured data can come together to answer new questions for the supply chain that we've never been able to answer before. And they're very exciting to me. Let me tell you some of the problems that we can solve. Number one, we can learn if customers like or dislike products two weeks faster because we can look at comments on the web, comments on the blog sites, and we can combine that to not only see what customers are buying, but why they're buying it, and make adjustments in what we do in the supply chain. Number two, because big data also has streaming data, or the ability to have sensors that can sense and they can transmit in near real time, and we can combine that with other forms of data, like geolocation and mapping data, we can now redesign things like cold chains so that we can have RFID chips and pallets and we can combine the streaming data with mapping to be able to look at cold chains and to look at how can we have products that are not only safe but also secure. Let me give you an example. Biologics are very expensive drugs for cancer patients and unfortunately not as effective at the bedside of a cancer patient as we would like them to be. And the reason is because we can't control the cold chain. The ability for big data to be able to sense and to shape and to drive the signal with geolocation can help us to streamline supply chain processes so that when drugs are at the patient's bedside, they're more effective. And in a similar way, we throw away two-fifths of the world's fruits and vegetables because they spoil. So big data supply chains can help us to be able to have produce and fruits and vegetables at the point of purchase in a better condition. So number one, we can sense demand and we can adjust the supply chain. Number two, we can improve supply chain execution and cold chain and biologics. But number three, we can have sensing of the supply chain so that we can decrease latency in the supply chain overall. The average supply chain is 21 weeks. It takes 21 weeks from the signal of what somebody buys to translate to a supplier. And there's a lot of waste in the crevices of the supply chain as this information goes across the stages of the supply chain with the average supply chain having at least five steps. Big data can help us to decrease latency and help the parties of the supply chain have earlier signals to decrease waste. I don't know about you, but I think that this is exciting. Big data supply chains allow us to use new forms of data, harness volumes of data, translate data, and allow every party in the supply chain to be at the same step at the same time to better serve the customer, and I think that's exciting. This is Laura Ciceri, founder of Supply Chain Insights. Please join us on our website to enjoy this and other research.